Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 55. Today we are continuing our, our training on agent sites within the consumer applet, and today we're going to talk about adding vendors to your About Me page on your agent site. So this is a great opportunity to highlight specific partners that you work with in the variety of fields that involve real estate, maybe even outside of real estate for that matter, um, and potentially even uh, generate some additional income through marketing service agreements um, if those are legal or permitted in your area. As always, talk to your market center leadership and broker to make sure that that's allowable, but definitely a way to start um, helping promote those vendors who help promote you as well. So in order to do that, we're gonna come into the consumer applet. We're gonna go through those same steps we've been doing over the last several days. We're gonna click on edit my website. But today we're gonna go into a page that we have not spent time on yet, and that's the about the agent default page. So let's click on the about the agent page. And when we do, we're going to get four sections here. The profile details and bio section, these are all being pulled in from your marketing profile. So you can see we cannot make edits to any of those first three sections from this page. Those would all have to be made inside of your marketing profile and your settings menu inside of command. We're going to come down to option number four, which is the preferred vendors section. And we will click there. You can see vendors lists are powered by Move Easy to set up an account or to add or edit vendors, please click this link. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link. And I'll tell you the first time I did this, I did have a pop-up show up and so my pop-up blocker caught it. Um, so just a heads up, it, it may not show up if you have a pop-up blocker in place. So make sure you allow that to happen. We're gonna click on add vendor now in this top right-hand corner. And you can see, you can add multiple vendors. It'll have you download a CSV file and then start filling in the CSV file. I'll be honest with you, I found that CSV file kind of complicated. It was much easier for me just to come in and manually add these. You can see really there's only two required fields to add a vendor. And that would be the vendor name and telephone number, but you have additional pieces of information that you could fill in if you choose to. So let's just say this is a bedrock title company, and that's um, yabba dabba doom title.com, and we've got a little Fred Flintstone over there at Bedrock, and Fred's email is fred at yabba dabba doom title.com, and fake telephone number, Right, you would put in a real telephone number. And then what sort of vendor is this? You can see we've got a full list of different vendors that you might consider putting in. You don't have to choose a vendor type. You can see that as well. So let's look for title companies. There we go. And then what counties do they service? This is also not required, but you could certainly put it in. Um, I live in around Harris County. So we could put Harris and then Waller. Let me spell that right. And there we go, right? And then I could get the title company's logo as well and upload that logo if I choose to as well. So finally, I'm gonna click on add vendor. And when I do, that vendor then shows up on my vendor list and they've been added to the vendor page. It was really that quick and simple. You can see that when you come back to your bright spot, kind of come back into side of uh, Agents, if we go into my preferred vendors, we should have Bedrock Title Company showing up. There we go, right? And if we go to our actual agent site, we can see what that looks like as well. Dream Homes and Katie. We're gonna go to the About Me page, and here's all the information about me, and here's where those preferred vendors show up, right? In addition, if you don't like this verbiage, my preferred vendors, or this verbiage here, you can change that by changing the title. You can see it's already pre-populated, but you can change that out. Uh, maybe it's uh, a few of our trusted partners or something like that. And then you could put your description here as well. So that's pretty quick and easy way to add vendors. You can see if the Move Easy page is still open, you can just cl click on add vendor and do it again. If for any reason you come back to the page and you get some additional vendor information, you can always just come back in 
Again, we're gonna go, let me just walk this through again. We'll go back to the dashboard. It's the about the agent default page. And then we're my preferred vendors. And then we would just click on this link to get to move easy and add in the additional vendors as we see fit. So we'll click on that link, it'll open up move easy. We would click on the add vendor button and start working through all of our trusted title partners, lender partners, electricians, plumbers, roofers, you name it. We've all got people that we refer out business to, and this would be a great page, great place to highlight all of those companies here on your about me page. So that's it for today, guys. A quick and easy way to potentially monetize your site, but certainly draw attention to the trusted partners and vendors that we work with on a daily basis inside and outside of real estate. Look forward to talking to you guys real soon. As always, hope you're doing very, very well.